Whole time, I'm big that. Fuck ten out. Why my first trying to tweak with me? Fed that guy. Get Brooks exclusive. Uh, I'm one of them, not one of those. Ain't no sneakers on my flow. Versace house shoes in the morning. I remember bad pros. I don't know you ain't no Lincoln. I ain't into dropping lows. She don't put me on her story. I just love a private hoe. I'm one of them, not one of those. I'm one of them, not one of those. Crack the lights on King Crab. We ain't go to Papa those. All these niggas wacky, you ain't gotta drop a foe Gotta lock the door Four G's on my V, orgies in my sheets Money don't mean everything, you know more than me Whole time I'm giving 10 people $200 each just for subscribing to my Twitch Tap in, don't miss out on your blessing On God, on God so peak I remember this one time I'm at a hospital Sitting in an unoccupied room and labor and delivery doctor come walking around the curtain he bartholomew smith head sore as hell looking up out yes sir he how's your head you took quite a tumble there facts prior to that moment i had just witnessed the childbirth of this co-worker of mine named gabby once that baby started crowning uh, <laughs> i yeah i'm decent thanks for asking he yeah i've seen that quite a few times childbirth can be overwhelming but uh on the bright side uh you have a very healthy baby ah uh, oh yeah man blessings he oh are you ready to see your new baby girl i i reckon so he well right around this uh curtain you have your lovely bundle of joy so i'll see you on the other side and walked out she had just got real pretty much i felt like i had to embrace reality for what it really was so i took a deep breath and followed behind now Gabby in that land with her baby, talking to the doctor. I walk in and just stand there, taking everything in. Gabby looked towards me. The doctor nod his head and step out. Ah, how you feeling? She tired and hungry while cradling the little one. Ah, I can imagine, but you did that. Motherfuckers that had a, a whole human to come up out of her. You raw as hell. She, thank you so much, honey. I can't lie. I'm so happy. Ah, that's a blessing. Deep sigh. I'm not happy about this six week wait period, but I'm glad that the baby here for sure though. With a heavy exhale, she, I really want to talk to you about something. Ah, oh no, nah, for sure. What's up? She, I know we decided to keep this between us and let my boyfriend think that this is actually his baby, but I think I'm having a change of heart. I, oh yeah? She, I just feel like our daughter deserves to know who her real father is. I, real nigga activity. So she, wh what about your boyfriend? She, my baby is more important than anything. So I'm really not concerned about how you feel. Sick, I, nah, I feel you plot twist she this baby look too much like you anyway she got your eyes your nose your lips eyes nose and lips i all of the above huh she yeah she even got your teeth i my teeth already she yeah for real come hold down and see i step forward to grab the baby she handed to me Little as hell, I take her and look down. She, hey, daddy. <laughs> Newborn baby, real life dialoguing. She, I was just born or whatever, but you already knew that. Period. I'm fake blue. I got your chompers for real, but it's cool. OG nipples definitely finna be under attack, but that's your fault. Anyways, can I play Roblox on your phone until you get my iPad? And I'ma need like $500 for Robux. I'ma build me a house and give me a couple cars. I'm finna go crazy. Thank you so much, daddy. I'm just glad to finally be up out of there. I should do me a first day out freestyle. Yeah, 
That's what I'm going to do. But nah, daddy, could you take this hot ass blanket up off of me? OMG, I'm burning up. Appreciate you. Oh, watch out. Peed in my face. Then I woke up. Twine had squirted water in my face. I'm bro, is you retarded? He, well, wake your mess up. It's almost time for you to clock back in. Wiping the water off my face. Sigh. Motherfuckers tired as hell. I was having a crazy ass dream too. He, what you had to dream your teeth was small? I told you you gotta embrace them up. Ah, right, yo, dumb man. Whole time I had a dream. I got shorty I'm talking to pregnant. Wild as hell. He, ah, right, you better slow down. You don't wanna get that latex. Talking about I think I'm latex. Ah, right. you ain't never lied, bro, but I cannot get enough of that woman. I ain't gonna lie to you. He, boy, you got to do better. You gotta do better. At the next table over was my coworker Jeffrey enjoying a serving of cheese balls. He was different. Stayed to himself for real, for real. He spent all his breaks watching videos on his phone. And today was no different. Big Twomp, you over there watching Jeffrey? Looking up, he, I'm watching a clip from a segment off the History Channel regarding the Anglo-Saxon era. Right before he took another nibble off one of his cheese balls. Big Twine, Anglo-Saxon. The saxophone era? Yup, it's with Dizzy Gillespie. He raw as hell. Ah, uh, Anglo-Saxon is dealing with a time period in ancient history, you idiot. Big Twine, man, you don't even know. You probably wrong anyway. Looking up, Jeffrey, actually, he's accurate. Before proceeding to another cheese ball nibble. My coworker, Dontario. Twine, what up with your own gang? Twine, man, cool and finna get off break. Ontario, oh yeah. Yo, little big shoe ass boy. I see you with the wood grain steppers on, boy. Them bitches look like kitchen cabinets, boy. Yo ass bogus as hell. Big Twine, man. Chill on me, bro. Ontario, what's good about telling me what you on? Ah, right. shit. Tired as hell, bro. He, oh yeah, that's what's up, boy. Yo, unpaid Kai Center looking ass, boy. In your knees, busting out them jeans, boy. Yo ass freaky as hell. Yo ass manage as hell. On baby, boy. Every day with that man. Ah, right. yo ass, boy. Now, Jeffrey over there, man, his own business, enjoying his cheese fears. Dontario come up, smash him down with his hand. Jeffrey look up, Dontario, damn, that was yours, boy. I don't get no, boy, your barbecue, boy, because speaking with bed, bud, looking at that little head ass, boy, your head look like one of them cheese balls, boy, your little ugly ass, boy. On my baby, your ass look like a old ass retired John Wall, your little ugly ass, boy. Musty homeless man at the train looking at you stank, boy, your ass over here smelling like a, uh, Cup of booty juice and British push-up sweat, boy. Oh, baby. Big Twine, come on, Debo, stall him out. Dontario, man, dude. That next moment, my coworker Tammy walked into the break area. Black and Asian. Beefy egg roll, you hear me? Dontario, hey, Tammy, when you gonna let me take you out? Yo, fine there. Tammy turned around, she. You say what? Dontario, when you gonna pop out with me? I'm trying to see what's to you on, baby. She, let's do February 30th. You available? He, oh, February. Wait, February, we got 29 days. That's what you want? She, I'm surprised you even knew that in about face. He damn, what you acting like that for? What you mad Jeezy divorce your ass? Yo, unpaid genie my looking ass. She just looked at him and went back to her computer. Big Twine, man, I'm finna clock back in to work. Y'all, it's tweak and got up to go back to his computer. Jeffrey just quietly rolled up the napkin and held the remnants of his crushed cheese balls. I knew he was blue, but he just kept his cool. Now, on my way back to my desk, I peeped my work wife arguing on the phone with somebody in one of the side offices i had to check on base so i stepped in i was gonna be late clocking back in but i ain't care i had to make sure she was good she is the same situation with the same girl every time and you swear it's nothing going on whole time i already knew who she was on the phone with for real she let me guess you gotta work late again all right, I guess I'll just see you whenever you get home. Bye. And then hung up. I, right. Stacy again. She, I don't know what it is. He just can't leave that woman alone. It's always something with the same chick. I right. don't tell me he sent you another message on IG. She, nah, this time it was Facebook. I don't even know what to do. SMH and stepping towards her. I, right. he just don't know what he got. I heard he said he was working late again tonight. Taking a deep breath and smiling, she, he did say that. Ah, you trying to play crazy again tonight? Chuckling, she, boy, you gonna be the death of me. And then walk past me to leave the office. Hated to see her go, 
but I loved it to see her walk away. Had me in a chokehold. I worked at a customer service center. Decent little desk job. Easy money for real, for real. I got back to my desk to clock back in so I can get back to it. This coworker named Sandy come walking down the middle of the aisle. My other coworker Reese, cool ass stud, peep up pimping past she. Yo, Sandy, let me be your SpongeBob. Sandy turn around. She, Reese, ain't nobody about to play with you. Reese, hey, who said I was playing? My dead sis. Big Twan, man, tell her that's Malish. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. Sandy, Big Twan. Reese, hey, Sandy, that boy Twan can only give you about eight minutes. This stripe ain't never going limp, you hear me? Sandy, I came with y'all and pimped off. My was on her ass, literally. My other coworker, Amari, get the sniffing around. She, gang, what the f is that smell? Like, for real. After smelling under my arm, I... It's not me today. My coworker Doriel, Amari, you bogus as hell. Amari, nah, I'm up because bogus as hell for not keeping up with their hygiene in here. We grown as hell. The fuck? Jeffrey was just sitting there quiet. My team lead, Sean, nah, I need y'all to be focused on keeping up with these deadlines. Let's get to it. Amari, man, I can't work under these conditions, boss, man. I got a fucking headache. Sean, what you want a headache at work or at the unemployment office? Amari, you really be pushed into perspective, boss man. Let me get back to work. Dontario, hey, what goes on after work or something? Y'all trying to get outside somewhere? Tammy, where y'all trying to go? My coworker Naeem, let's do Taco Tuesday somewhere, she. Big Twan, hey, Taco Tuesday sound decent. Hey, Bartho, you popping out? Ah, shit. Only if my boo popping out. You popping out, boo? Gabby. Only if my boo want me to pop out. Ah, I, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Big Twine, boy, we outside then. Now the office manager pimp up sheet. Now you know we alternate who closed this office every week. Whose turn is it this time? Now closing the office was something ain't nobody want to do. Especially coming off of a three-day weekend. A tedious task. If we got off at five, you want finna get up out of that to seven. So of course, everybody went mute and or missing. Somebody had to take the bullet, and it wasn't finna be me. Stop. Okay, so everybody just wanna be quiet? All right, then I'll pick somebody. Naeem, you're closing the office tonight. Naeem, wow. The only how I'm closing the office is if you beat me in a footworking contest right now. Stop. You know who you talking to, young man? Naeem, yeah, right. Y'all make that circle. And headed towards the middle of the floor. Now we all surround Naeem. My boy kicked off his shoes. No shucking and jiving. You hear me? He instantly. Had me weak as hell, boy. His ass play. Now stop, step up. Instruct that man to pick his sneakers up. I'm thinking she finna kick her heels off, but she kept them on. Right after that, she. Big Twine. Yeah, she definitely just smoked you, bro. Stop. Looks like you closing tonight. And pimped off. Yes. That man had to concede to defeat. Everybody else headed to the team meeting. While he was just in the middle of the flow. Hurt. Salty. Eventually the work day came to an end. Me and Big Twine walking down the street. He, you'll beat me off to the crib, folks? I all not for sure. I got you. We just need to stop at Jerk 48 first. I'm hungry as hell. You know motherfuckers slept through their lunch break. He say less, I'm just a passenger. I get home when I get home. Right after that, some little dude pimp up to us. He, y'all out here selling squares? Ah, hell no. Nah. Now he hop in front of us. He, somebody told me y'all out here selling squares. Big Twine, bro, ain't nobody out here selling squares. What's to you? He, only gonna tell y'all once. If I catch y'all ass selling squares, it's gonna be a misunderstanding. Confused, I. Bro, you talking like you got pipe on you or something. He, don't worry about what I got on me. I said what I said. Had to be a prank, but cameras weren't popping out. I. You know what? You got it, bro. Motherfuckers wouldn't dare. He, I know y'all won't. Not carry on like a carry on. 
and then proceeded to walk right between us, looking back like he was from the wish a nigga woods. Only in Chicago. We eventually pull up to the Jerk 48 right off of 87 and Stoney. We bop in. Some dude look over. He, hey, how's it going, guys? Looking out. Muffs cool. He, oh, that's great to hear. Um, this is kind of random, but um, I'm trying to get something to eat. And I'm a little low on funds, so I was wondering if you could be so kind to maybe spot me a meal. I, what boy get your dumb ass out of here Yo ass tweaking He alright I can understand that How about this If I could successfully Blow your mind I what Hey stop playing with me bro Is you cool He no 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 With a magic trick If I can blow your mind with a magic trick Supper on you Big twine boy you getting something to eat That ain't got nothing to do with me I what you some type of magic in or something he um i'm sure you meant magician but yes i am i i bet what's up now he stand up and take a box of cards out of his chest pocket he take the cards out the box let me just start off by saying though on my dead grandfather on brazil marie this magic trick was not staged rehearsed or set up ahead of time this man really just pulled out a deck of cards and got to it I'm trying to tell you, I am not about the merch on my loved ones to falsely prove nothing to no thunky. This is a real live magic trick that this man is about to perform. Fat ass guy. He, so look, make sure you can see that these are all different cards. Ah, I, I see. He, they're not all the same card or anything like that, correct? I nod my head, he, so we'll try this. Can you think of any card? Just think of one. After pondering, I, okay, he, do you have one in mind? Ah, for sure. He, you agree no one can tell you what card you're thinking of. I shake my head, no, he, so here's what I'll do. I'll place one card in a specific location. So one card goes in a specific location. These go back inside the box. Now I'm committed to this card. For the first time, can you say the card you're thinking of out loud? I say it out right now. He, nah, I, the king of popcorn. He, okay, so king of clubs is what you want. If you're not sure, you can change. I take a few seconds to think about it, then I, six of diamonds. He, if you're not sure, you can change again. It's up to you. I, nah, I'm good. Jack of popcorn. He, jack of popcorn, I, jack of popcorn. He, if you're not sure, you can change again. I, I'm good. He, is there any way I could have known you would go for the jack of clubs? I ain't no way. He, can you also name a number, we'll say up to 40, uh, up to 40. After thinking about it, I, 22. He, okay, if you're not sure, you can change, but it's up to you, I, nah, I'm cool, six. He, if you're not sure, you can change again, but it's up to you, I, nah, I'm with that. 15. 15. He, are you sure? I, positive. He, you positive? He, you don't want to change. I shake my head. He, yeah. He, the deck's been here, yeah? I, nah, he, do me a favor. You think you could maybe hold your hands up together? Bring both of them? Good. And you're going to take all of these out. Is the box empty? I, it is. He, you thought of a card. You changed multiple times, but your final decision was a jack of popcorn. I, nah, he, out of all the numbers you could have named, you said 15 was your final decision. I agree, he. Can you get rid of 15 cards face down in my hand? I start counting them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Heat, which leaves us here. I told you I put one card in a specific location, yes? You said what card? Ah, the jack of popcorn. He, can you see where that leaves us? Turn over the next one. I ain't know what to expect. I turn it over, lo and behold, the jack of popcorn never left me standing there looking stupefied. Man blown, I couldn't believe it. I, bro, how did you do that? He, so yeah, I'll take the surf and turf salmon, three lamb, three shrimp. Thank you, King. 
shook my hand, took the cards, and went to go regain his seat with none more to say. Leather belt, Big Twine, come on, man. We walked to the counter, the lady. Welcome to Jerk 48, how may I help you guys? Ah, blessings. Can I get a um jerk chicken and shrimp Alfredo? She sure, would that be a full or a half? I, um, shit, I take the lodge, I'm hungry as hell. She anything else? Ah, yeah. A surf and turf? What is it, a salmon, two lambs, and three shrimp? She, that'll be 44.29. That man had definitely got me. Ah, I, and that surf and turf, that's for buddy over there. He was lucky I'm a real one. After ringing me up, she, Here's your receipt. That'll be about 20 minutes. Ah, blessings and step to the side. Big Twine, you still popping out tonight? Ah, hell yeah. My boo gonna be there. He, true, true. Ah, you need me to pick you up? Big Twine, hell nah. I'm gonna have my baby mama car. Ah, I bet shit. I'm gonna do this motherfucking jerk chicken and shrimp Alfredo dirty. And see you tonight, shit. He, I say less shit. Later that night, I pull up to game time. This little spot in Linwood. I bop in. Security instantly. Pat me down. Safety first. I respect it. After they pat me down, buddy dat me up. I actually went to school with him. I look. All my coworkers was at the bar motioning me to come over. Spot him, got him. I pimp over. I take a seat in between Big Twine and Gabby. It was Dontario I did a pop out. He ain't even show up. Big Twine, boy, you late as hell. Motherfuckers then order food and everything. Ah, whole time, I'm still good from Jerk 48 anyway. Gabby, hey boo, smiling hot as hell. Ah, hey baby, a pleasure to see you or whatever. She, the pleasure's all mine, baby. You hungry? Ah, I'm good whole time, but thank you. Reese, hey, what you drinking, Bart? Hey, shots on me. I, I'm good. I don't even drink all the time. Tammy, why don't you drink something? I, I'm good. Yo, Boo Dontario here? She just looked like, boy, stop playing with me. Ah, hey, Jeff, are you good? After taking one of his normal nibbles off a of taco, he, yeah, I'm okay. Sean, we was talking about this before you came. So, if you got a kid by a woman and she got kids by another nigga, when you bring your kid food, you gonna get them food too? Ah, I, I don't know on some player shit, I would probably bless the other kids too. Sandy, that's right, that's what real niggas do. The f Reese, I'm definitely looking out for all the kids, folks them know. Big Twan, I work hard for my ass, why would I bust my ass for somebody else's kid? I ain't got it, I ain't got it. Ah, you cold-blooded. Doriel, quite frankly, I don't need another to make sure my other kids are straight. I got it. The f I, I feel you. What about you, Jeffrey? What you think? After nibbling on the taco heat, I don't want kids. LOL. Y'all drop it in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Would you keep it player and get food for all the kids or only take care of what's yours? After that, the DJ started taking it back to the 2000s. Reese hop up about her seat. She get turned. Snap your fingers. Do your step, or you can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. Hey, let me see you do it. Hey, hey, look, teach me how to ducky come on. Jeffrey got active. You hear me? They be like, smooth. Can you teach me how to ducky? You know why? Because all the bitches love me. Hey, look, the DJ one playing. You hear me? He throw that jock on. Meet me in the trap, it's going down. Meet me in the mall, it's going down. Meet me in the club, boy, we was in that turn playing too much. Pound, good times. After sitting down, I, I about got musty back. Gabby, I still love you even if you a little tangy. I had to check and make sure she, you baby. Now Reese vibing before some end up catching her eye and her attention a look compact and calipigian situation wasting no time she instantly grabbed chair and placed it right behind shorty to take a seat and establish eye contact shorty turned around like hey reese i ain't expect to find my love of my life on such a short notice shorty Ooh, we, you better talk that sh to me. 
Reese, oh, I'ma talk it, all right? It's too loud in here. Let's go outside. And cuff Shorty right up and direct her towards the exit. Reese ain't played no games. I already knew that she was gone for the night. It was over with. Chuckling to Gabby out. Looked like Reese found her a little action. Boop da boom. Ting. Gabby, you so stupid. Ella May on. Ah, right, it's our turn, so we gone. She, yes, yes. And got up so we can get gone. Big Twine dabbed me up. He already knew what I was on. Wish me the best of luck. And I bopped out. Now we pull up to a Walmart parking lot. She pie cut and hop in with me. Ah, this ain't the night to play crazy at your crib, huh? She, he said he working late, but I don't really trust it. With a deep sigh, I better safe than sorry. I want you so bad though. Smiling, she, I want you too, baby. I, how bad? Laughing, she, why are you so stupid? If only I could find the words to express. Ah, you can't find the words, huh? Well, let me pull out my dictionary. <laughs> mm. She, hmm. Well, is it a paperback or a hard copy? Ah, ooh. Back seat? She, say less. We instantly hop out the car so fast. Push them seats up. You hear me? Needed leg room. We hop in the back. I get the kissing on her neck. Now right after she start tapping me like something wrong. She looking through the front of the car. I look. A walking, talking suburban is pimping up to her car. He look inside, look under, around. He confused and upset. Right after that, he take a shopping cart and throw it like a piece of tissue. Then it hit me. Ah, that's your gargantuan significant other? With a deep sigh of sheet, he must have put an air tag on my car again. Ah, again? Okay. Ah, hmm. After thinking, Gabby, all I gotta do is sneak out of here, come around, and walk up to him like I just left out of the store. Nah, and nah. Okay. That's not too bad of an idea. Um, well, I'ma stay right here. And, uh, I'm sure you'll be successful. She at least trail me to make sure I'm okay. You don't have to walk up to him with me, of course. I trail you. Okay, nah, of course, honey. I'd, um, this 007 mission is about to start right now. Now, he was sitting on her trunk with his back to it, so I cut the car off and we slid out the back door. We snuck to the opposite side of where I was parked. Gabby, I think I could walk up to him from over here with a deep sigh I okay babe well I hate that I rendezvous had to end this way she I know he be doing too much yeah but I see you at work tomorrow nod and I yes ma'am she just smiled and then stood up to walk up to the dinosaur shortly after he walk up he babe what the are you doing here she well i was coming to buy a dictionary l o l he so what is the dictionary she they were out of stock out of stock i don't know what you needed a dictionary for anyway come on man we going home and picked up and tossed over his shoulder she waved by to me i just waved back and pimped off into the night the next day i'm at work big twine come in sit at his desk he I turned to him, he, so what happened last night? I silently let him know it was a failed mission. Stop, has anybody seen Jeffrey this morning? He hasn't clocked in, and that's not like him. Amari, well I ain't smelt him this morning, so I don't know. Tammy, Amari, Amari, I'm just saying shit, it smell nice in here today. Dontario on baby sheen line, his little ass stank. Stop, he ain't never been late or absent. And walked back to her office confused. Gabby, psst, psst, ah, yes ma'am, Gabby, I'm so sorry, ah, it's okay babe, I still love you, she, I love you too, Naeem, how that was last night, after I closed, I was tired of sale, I up the ground, went home, Reese, hey, whole time that was busting, and I left with something decent as hell, on bro, 
Naeem, you ain't put that strap to work though. Reese, boy, shorty at my crib right now, sleeping. You tweaking. Naeem, my neck. Right after that, Jeffrey slide in, toting a rifle in a poo shiesty mask. Reese, man, what the is that, Jeffrey? What the is you on? Pulling down the mask seat. Yeah, that's me. I ain't clock in today, but I know who finna clock out and point at the rifle at Dontario. He, what the is that, a musket? Boom! Jeffrey blew that man away, close range. Everybody get the running and trying to take cover. He run to the other side of the office. Naeem taking refuge under his desk. Jeffrey come up, point rifle at him. Naeem, boy, I ain't never said nothing about you being musty, bro. Boom! Jeffrey blew him away too. That man had went postal. The shotgun clearly only had two shots. He put that down. Up pole. Amari hiding in the janitor closet. He ba, 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 lit her up, bro. Then took pipe to itself. <sighs> Checked itself out. Crazy enough, I immediately knew exactly why he was on that. He got tired of people picking with him. You never know what a person's situation is or where they mind stay at. More of the story. Be kind. On gun. Uh, I'm one of them, not one of those. Ain't no sneakers on my flow. Versace house shoes in the morning. I remember bad pros. I don't know you ain't no Lincoln. I ain't in the dropping lows. She don't put me on her story. I just love a private hoe. I'm one of them, not one of those. I'm one of them, not one of those. Crack the lights on King Crab. We ain't go to Papa Dose. All these niggas wacky. You ain't gotta drop a foe. Gotta lock the door.